my neighbors are still loud as ever. Hey guys, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna do a take two of the intro. Um, you know, there's no point now. You know, you guys are seeing that raw, unedited footage. Shadow Deeds. Yeah, that's a good name. Alright. So, I am finally, finally got Shadonia hatched, and I am finally using her in the, uh, Blossom Rank Up Survival Dungeon. Oh yeah, this is the start of me simping Shadonia on this channel, so get used to it. Oh yeah, that, that is something, like, if you're afraid of this new Serpentex meta we're about to enter, because even Spectre wasn't this powerful, and she just obliterated the Mado when she was released. If you're afraid of that, worry not. Shadonia can turn transfer with the Light Hater. And that basically counters all your top um, monsters right now. All your top Pierce monsters. Like, you know, Beanbot is Light, Cherub Cupid is Light, Serpent Hex is Light. Only top top one, because I gotta say the Corrupted Pierce monsters have fallen out of the meta. Only top top one it doesn't come back, which yeah, I know. I know these moves, you have to rank them up so I don't have them. Only top top one it doesn't, like... Oh my god, I said that so many times, I'm so sorry. Only top top ones it doesn't counter are... No, it doesn't counter, is Elfira. Just because she's a dark monster, so. Yeah, just adding her best moves, which, granted, her best moves aren't that good at rank. Some, nothing. Disable straight one extra turn. Light hater trans turn transfer extra turn. Oh. Positive effect removal, then total blind. Then turn transfer. Alright, let's see how high we can rank her up before we get this all started. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, let me just do this real quick. Like, she is that OP to where I don't even mind doing this. A uh, dark strafe sucks. I'm gonna be honest. So, boom, boom, boom. Oh, you know what? I might as well make this a monster review before I do my Metropolitan Dungeon to get an extra video in today. So, yeah, there's that. Ooh, eating up my nectar, but I, I was saving up for someone like her. Alright, so I think this is a good spot to start. So yeah, she's one of the fastest monsters in the game. She's already got that on her resume. And, oh, the extra turn move, then what is this? Extra turn. So she'd need another extra turn move. Alright, so as of right now, she can't infinitely cycle. She can only two cycle. But she's really, 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 really disgustingly OP. Like, when she can infinitely cycle, you know, it's just exactly what it sounds like. She can infinitely disable the other team. You know? It's basically like, if one move could take someone's arm off and the other one takes a leg off, she takes everyone's arms and legs off. Like, that is the skill I'm talking here. Ooh, now this is a situation, because if he, if she has this, then, oh wait, never mind, this isn't actually a situation. If where's life is below 25, and maybe for the stamina. For 50... Monster dies, yes, okay. Yeah. Actually, no. I gotta run Arch Druid's Sigil. Yeah. So, with 
her runes all equipped up. She is obviously, obviously a three speed monster. That is like a level 10 I just put on her. Your eyes are not deceiving you. I have just put a level 10 and two level 9s on this monster. Dang. She's that fast at this low of a level. Wow. And do I want to do that? Not yet. I'll hold off. Wow. But today is the beginning. Dang. So yeah. And I want to address something. A problem brought up by a lot of people. Like, or at least a problem a lot of people have with this new era. Which is how OP. Like, some monsters like this guy. And, like, this girl. And, like, a bunch of other monsters that are free to pay to win so I don't have them. How OP they are. And to that, I answer, every era has kind of been like that. Like, think back to everybody's favorite era that they like to talk about. The Corrupted Era. The Corrupted Era? There were so many OP monsters there, like Blumeria, Lord... Nabotus, I'm so sorry that I forgot your name. And, like, there were so many OP monsters there. That people were just like, oh, this is so fun, so many strategies. But now that there are so many OP monsters, people are like, oh, this is so not as fun as when I had the monsters already. You know? Just enjoy the game. Like that one weird Spotify ad says, everyone deserves the gift of the game. And if you have it, use it. So she can double trait disable cycle at 115. Yo, shadow in your cells, that is what I like to see. Um, I feel like there's one more change I need to make. Oh yeah, I gotta do something after this match real quick, but it doesn't really... It doesn't really involve this video in any sort. Well, alright. So I have this, two of this era's OP. Extra turn, positive effect removal turn, transfer monsters, wow. And I have both of them just to support Merc. Merc is a monster I've hyped up on this channel because I like him. Doesn't go too much deeper than that, you know? Now, let me say, if Merc had his single support move for all, I think he would be meta. So, like, it's so powerful. That's Oh, that's why she keeps doing the trade disable because Archdruid's sigil kicks in. And she just does it again. Oh my gosh, she knows to kill the OP anticipation monster before she just starts going on doing other things, like turn transferring. Because both, this team relies heavily on triple damage. Now, luckily, the team is also set up to where it doesn't fall apart without being able... No, it relies heavily on extra turns. Luckily, both of them have reasons that you could still use them even if they weren't anticipation monsters like Shadonia has her um, total blind and her cleanse moves and Omnia has her double damage plus stamina regeneration to all stained in fear dang though like, and I'm just sitting here, like, I feel like these monsters are OP. Wait until Serpentex and King Autumn. I feel like it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna blink, and we're gonna be two eras later, and I'm gonna be ranking them up in dungeons, just like I rank up o OP Corrupteds right now. Because I didn't have them, because they were Paywall or Tails monsters that I didn't go after. You know? And I find it funny that, like, I'm only at, like, node 3. And, like, sorry, you guys had to miss a bit of that battle. But the kid inside, he keeps just yelling. Now, obviously, that's surface level. He's obviously yelling to talk about something. But, like, you know, it's kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, weren't her, like, cost for these OP infinitely cycling moves pretty high? Ooh. 
Yeah, but that mask kicks in and it just gets everything back. Like, I prefer having Shadonia and Omnia. Because they're both dodge area, although I don't even think Shadonia needs the dodge area. Because literally, I've seen people turn transfer between Shadonia and Omnia to get that damage boost, to cleanse, to just literally get rid of everything and give your team everything. <laughs> like, these two are a killer combo. Because the fact that Shadow just turns transfer doesn't cleanse. Turn transfer doesn't cleanse. I'm sorry, I said it so weird. The fact that her turn transfer does not cleanse really, really hurts, you know? Because it's one of those things that you hope is, like, irrelevant, but it's actually really important. Because with all the beasts and everything you start off your match with, you know, and most likely, this game is going to be torn apart by Shadonia, Omnia, and Serpentex. That team is going to kill. I'm afraid of it just thinking about it. Because I can't think of anything that could stand up to a monster that with this team, with both Shadonia and Omnia plus Serpentex, Triple damage, double damage, damage boost, light hater, abomination hater. It's ridiculous. Like, for me, I can see where someone would get mad. Like, oh, the Mado's too powerful. Usually, that's just like, oh, come on, man. But Serpentex is the 1,000th monster. Also, something that I've just realized, and it makes me very, very, very sad. I recorded a video, right, for my corrupted era dungeon, and like, and then I went to record this video, because like, what I'll do is I'll record a video, and if it's too long, I don't want my storage to get used up, so when I'm done, I go and delete it, like, after it's posted to YouTube, right? So like... I already recorded a 31 minute video, and that video was 10 minutes for the Corrupted Dungeon. So I was like, okay, I'll delete these, like, all the way, even out of the trash, because if they're in the trash, they're still taking up storage. That way I have more space in my inventory for, like, other videos. Alright, so I delete them both thinking I had posted both videos already, when really I had only posted... My metropolitan one so there is a video a corrupted monster video that you are sadly missing out on and i'm so sorry because a lot happened in that video like a lot of noteworthy things like waldorf and blue mary are both at now at level what is it 120 emotional pieces turns transfers to him he freezes you see how like completely disabled Mare Modus is. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. Okay, come on. I get it. You're a violent monster. You want to attack, but that is not what I have you on this team for. <laughs> oh, look at that. You see what I mean? Even the AI knows what to do. If there's an anticipation monster. Now, Colors of Despair probably would have killed if I didn't have poison. Because 20 more percent of Omnia probably would have killed her. Yeah, I think I'd say so. Boom, just kill her. Then damage boost. Cleanse. Then give that stamina regeneration. Then, here's another kicker. You do that. You do this. You do that. You do this. And now, boom. He's cleansed. And now, triple damage. And now, Merc is... Oh, wow. I didn't even plan to have this. How much damage can Merc do? Heavy. Boom. Almost 1 million. That's admittedly really slow. Low. 
Let me see. Can I kill? Nah. Okay. So double damage. Now here goes this part. Turn transfer. Chain sweep. Alright. Not too bad. Now I get rid of that positive effect. Now I get rid of anticipation. That is right. An extra turner with the solution to anticipation shouldn't exist. Honestly, too OP. Look, trade disable again. It went her turn and she cleansed and I just trade disabled. Like it was nothing. Cause it wasn't it wasn't nothing but a thing. Alright, AoE. Jesus, I feel like I'm playing like on create like Minecraft creative mode. Because of how OP this is. Just turn transferring. And turn transferring. And positive effect removal and trait disable and denial and turn transfer into a triple damage attacker. Jeez, Louise. And both of these monsters, free, completely free to play. Omni and Shadow Onion. So if you're worried about all these new OP monsters, just if you have these two, any Pierce monster, you're, you're goaded. You don't even have to worry. Now, maybe, maybe, maybe in some weird universe you run both of these guys as attackers because she can cleanse on herself and she can be like. She can give herself. Light Hater, which. That might be a good aspect in an attacker. You know, honestly, depends on your preference. Now, look at this. I can trait disable. I can attack for fun. Oh, golly. I can trade disable. Please don't. He did. Alright, and stand in fear. Usually double damage does more. <gasps> I know it is not just me. Who wants to see him do that move to his own himself? Do it. Do it. S slash. He did it to himself. Now it's my turn. Hold on. Sorry about that. Let me keep going. Oh, wait. Again. Hold on. Alright guys, let's hop right into the next match. I'm sorry, it was, people came home and it was like, just loud and rowdy. But yeah, turn transfer into you, I shall. Hmm, she can't turn transfer, that is a slight a nuisance. Trait disable. You try and get rid of all my stamina, but I get it back. And silent sigh for triple damage against that cherub cupid. And total blind and bleed. Also, I gotta say, abomination hater is a weird thing for serpent text to have. Look at that triple damage. Plus, I can deny everybody because the immune to control was neutralized. And double damage. And cleanse again. And right back in to a total blind. Plus, he even ran out of stamina. How cool. Last warning. Emotional pieces and color of despair. And, um, huh, Shadow Veil. No point for that.
just wait for him to get right here. And, uh, yeah, that's a victory. That'll be all for this video. I think that's it for my videos today. I almost got seven, but I only got six because one was accidentally deleted. But, uh, yeah, please uh, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment, and I'll respond. Tell me what you think of, you know, just anything. I'll respond, I guarantee you. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Your favorite Omni's Crab, signing out.